so i would like to invite uh, principal of mahadevanand mahavidyalaya to say something on our program so sir please thank you thank you arijit am i audible am i audible yes you are sir audible yes sir you are audible okay 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 actually so many online seminars are being organized by the different departments of our college mahadevanand mahavidyalaya this is highly appreciable due to lock due to lockdown for the last 3 months all the academic institutions school colleges universities are closed students have been asked to stay at home and they are participating in the classes online classes taken by the teachers seminars are going on now everything is actually online however under this situation the academic exercises are going on with the help of the technological aid right now we are passing through the hard times as the different countries of the world are fighting together against covid 19 the deaths as reported from the different countries is gradually increasing and we are under a state of panic and fear till date there is no vaccine or medicine specific medicine to cure the patient of covid 19 today's one day national seminar is organized by the department of physiology of our college the topic chosen for discussion is very interesting that is role of homeopathy in enhancing immunity and the speaker is honorable dr r halaban head scientific and medical affairs dr wilmar club india private limited noida up hearty and warm welcome to the honorable doctor and the speaker and the participants to this seminar i think that all of us will be benefited from today discussion i am thankful to dr balavan for giving his most valuable time for this seminar thanks are also due to the obhijit karmakar the professor of our college who has taken pains in organizing this one day webinar i should also mention the names of the management staff of swab india private limited without whose cooperation this seminar seminar would have not been possible for us so i express my heartfelt thanks to particularly to those who are involved in the process of organizing this seminar with our college i wish this seminar a grand success thanking you all once again parijit thank you sir for delivering such a marvelous talk so we are thankful that uh, you have given us the permission to conduct such kind of program thank you very much for being with us so now uh, i would like to uh, hand over this session to mr ubhijit the regional sales person regional head so mr ubhijit you may carry on the program and you may invite the dr r bhalavan to take over the session thank you thank you very much dr orijit allowing me to start off the program and i at the very outset i also thank uh, our uh, principal of the bhavananda college for his very enlightening uh, opening and uh, i think today's day is special because today is doctors day so i think the program coincides with the doctors day so i 
if anybody is here as a doctor, I, I could gather that one or two are doctors here also who have joined us. I really wish all the doctors a very happy Doctors' Day, and I acknowledge their relentless efforts to serve mankind. And now, uh, I would also thank Orjit, Dr. Orajit Kormakar for uh, the pains that he has taken to do this very interesting program on homeopathy. It's not much of a common thing that happens, it's quite rare, but homeopathy, like any other pathy, has got their scientific dogmas. And I'm sure by the enlightening speech or the lecture given by our head of Dr. Balavan, I invite him very cordially. And I thank Dr. Balavan for being with us today and offering his lecture on homeopathy in enhancing the immunity. And while on this, I thank Mr. Shashank Shekhar, our very elegant product manager of Wilmer Shwabe for his all cooperation without which this program wouldn't have been possible today. With this, I hand over the session to Dr. R. Valavan. Kindly enlighten us. Thank you very much, everybody. A very good afternoon to all. First of all, let me thank the management and principal Dr. N.K. Sarkar, sir, of Mahav Devananda Mahavidyalaya for giving permission to conduct, the, conduct this e-seminar. And the efforts of Dr. Arijit Karmakar is tremendous to conduct this seminar right from the beginning to coordinate with Mr. Abhijit Baumek and through him to me and the whole Shwabi team. I thank him for his valuable and energetic contribution. I thank Mr. Abhijit Baumek and the entire team of office along with Mr. Sushank and the technical team for making this event making this speech a very memorable one. And I wish all the doctors from the viewers side a very happy doctor day. And with this, let me start the session. Uh, before starting uh, about my uh, topic, the role of homeopathy in enhancing immunity, uh, I would like to share uh, one thing that uh, there are two places in the world where homeopathy is very hugely used and hugely popular. One is France. In France, more than 40% of the population use homeopathy primarily. And there is a small France in India itself. That is the state of West Bengal. Like France for the world, West Bengal is for India. Here too, I think more than 40% of people use homeopathy as their primary care. Okay. In the last few days, I think many of you must have uh, heard something about immune boosters, immunity medicine, boost your immunity and so on uh, i think uh, the audience of this uh, meeting is uh, mostly students and faculty uh, from the non medical side and maybe very few medical doctors would be there so uh, i would give very basic details about uh, my topic uh, which could be easily understood by everyone and so what is Immunity. What is immunity and how homeopathy can help in enhancing immunity? That's what I'm going to talk about today. And if we say what is immunity, the dictionary meaning is 
the ability of an organism to resist a particular infection or toxin that is antigen by the action of specific antibodies or sensitized white blood cells this is what dictionary says if you just uh, uh, look into that it is basically a fight or ability of the fight of the organism against infection so if the immunity of a person particular individual is high then his level of infection may be less and if it is low then the infection or the microorganisms or the antigen can attack more virulently in that organism so that's where immunity comes to fight infection because if you want to do that about when antigen attacks on the body yeah. inflammatory process is started inflammatory process is just a, it is a kind of uh, it is stimulating the white blood cells i think many of you must have studied uh, especially uh, the department of physiology uh, must have studied about white blood cells in depth uh, so basically it is a, it is triggering the white blood cells and the white blood cells are considered as the army of our body so they would go and fight the microorganisms and uh, then it would neutralize the antigen virus bacteria or whatever then finally healing is achieved which is called cure cure process so this is the basic mechanism of uh, how the inflammatory process happens and if we look into how homeopathy works there is a, a kind of uh, 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 saying called similia similibus curanter this is called as principle of homeopathy so uh, what happens in case of similia similibus curanter is we select a remedy for a particular disease based on the analysis of the symptoms and then give that particular remedy then the cure happens so we have in our books called materia medica symptoms of remedies and symptoms of disease we study in another book or practice of medicine or when the patient comes and we study their patient symptoms and we match both of them and if both matches whichever whichever the remedy most matches then we apply that medicine to the patient so patient gets cured so i'll give you a very simple example how these remedy symptoms are noted down recorded how we have those symptoms in our book called materia medica it is if you take uh, uh, i'll give a very simple example uh, if you at on the, what happens I think there is some disturbance. Uh, uh, can you unmute uh, Shashank? Yes, sir. Okay. People are saying that they are not uh, getting your voice. So, so okay. please uh, uh, unmute <laughs> others. <laughs> Try to unmute oh. all the participants yeah. internally. Right. Yes, yes. It is done. Okay. Including, including us also. Okay. So only uh, Dr. Halavan sir should be on with his microphone only. Yeah. yeah was Shashank, please unmute all. And I would request every participant to unmute uh, their own self. Right. To mute. So to mute. Uh, I was. Yeah, sorry, mute, mute yourself. Yeah. So can you right. internally so uh, access access their mics to be off there? It's okay. It's I'm done. Asking. Okay. Okay. It's Thank done. you. Okay. Sir, continue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, telling you about the example of onion. If we cut onions, what happens? We start getting running nose, watery eyes, sneezing. So these are the symptoms we get also in case of normal basic cold, right? So if a homeopathic doctor gets a patient, a patient comes to a homeopathic doctor with all these symptoms, running nose, watery eyes, sneezing, 
as we see in majority of the cases of beginning of uh, cold uh, rhinitis then homeopathic doctor would may prescribe a medicine called allium sipa allium sipa is nothing but a medicine prepared from onion so if a substance produces some symptoms that substance has a capability to cure similar kind of symptoms in a disease that is what the basic of homeopathy and let me just uh, uh, go into the basic concept how this similia principle and immunity work in classical concept if a person has weak vital force weak vital force then he gets a disease then an indicated medicine a homeopathic doctor will prescribe and that indicated medicine will improve the vital force and then the person gets cured and again if the person person's vital force goes down then he would get disease then the then the doctor would give indicated remedy then uh, his vital pro force would be improved then cure is achieved this is the classical concept of how the disease and homeopathic medicines are working and if we adopt into the modern concept this is the modern concept you can see that i have replaced the word of uh, vital force with immunity so here the weak immunity which is the uh, which is the one of the major uh, factors for acquiring a disease and a doctor gives indicated remedy and he his immunity is improved and the cure is achieved so here if you see the indicated remedy basically improve improves the immune system that is a basic thing then with that cure is achieved Basic concept in terms of classical homeopathy as well as modern concept, right? So you can see here clearly that uh, homeopathic medicine modulate it improves the immunity and let us look into the different treatment approaches uh, if we basically look into the treatment approaches in two different ways uh, which was uh, uh, suggested by a famous virologist and there are two treatment approaches one is enhancing immunity you improve the immunity and you make the body system to have the ability to fight the disease and then win win means cure that is one approach and another approach is attack the disease directly that is another approach and if you just look into that the conventional treatment is a kind of direct attack and uh, but it comes with some uh, attached uh, uh, some side effects in many cases and in short term or acute cases there may not be side effects uh, but for emergency cases that is very necessary we have to go for emergency care as uh, with conventional treatment that is very important and on the other hand if you look into the homeopathy it enhances the immunity through which it acts it achieves the cure and so basically if you see homeopathic how homeopathic medicines work homeopathic medicines are thought to stimulate the body's own defenses uh, and or modulates the immune system it modulates the immune system because uh, uh, because it not only enhances but wherever it is necessary it modulates i'll give another example for that so basically it is a immunomodulatory effects and uh, if you look into the 
kind uh, cases of infection there it stimulates the immune system and by by stimulating it attacks the disease and it eliminates the disease that is the way how it acts in such case but if you look, look into the autoimmune disorders there is a different type of uh, diseases called autoimmune disorders uh, what happens in case of autoimmune disorders are immune system has a, a kind of hyperactivity overactive immune system attacks our body's own cells that is called autoimmune disorder for example there is a condition called rheumatoid arthritis in case of rheumatoid arthritis our immune system immune cells wrongly understand or misinterpret our own body's joint cells joint cells as antigen something like as a bacteria as a outside cell outside uh, agent something like that so it starts attacking our own joint cells right so that condition is called as autoimmune disorder so in such cases homeopathy doesn't enhance the immunity it goes and modulates modulates in the sense that it makes the immune system understand that okay these cells are not foreign cells or uh, antigens these are our own body cells so you don't need to attack it is something like you are turning your gun back and attacking your own soldier your own colleague so this is not the case so this is what homeopathy does in such cases and so uh, if we look into the very first immunostimulating effect of homeopathy when was it reported it's a very interesting uh, story way back 221 years back in the year 1799 when there was an episode of scarlet fever scarlet fever epidemic in europe and other parts of the world a, a man called dr samuel hanneman who happened to be the discoverer or founder of homeopathy what he did uh, he uh, actually there was a place called the town in germany called konigslotter so in that particular town when uh, that episode happened uh, he was treating one particular uh, family for some other condition with a medicine called belladon uh, so what uh, he observed was everyone in the family was suffering from scarlet fever but only that particular girl girl was not affecting with that scarlet fever so then he found that uh, okay he is already giving belladonna so maybe because of that reason she is not be affected by scarlet fever and so what he did he had given belladonna to other people who were suffering from scarlet fever and also the people who were not suffering from scarlet fever and surprisingly the people who were not uh, suffering from scarlet fever they were protected in that population who have who have taken belladonna they in that particular group if there are 100 people then very less number of people were affected with scarlet fever and the people who did not take belladonna there were more people who were affected with scarlet fever and also the people who were suffering from scarlet fever and in those people by taking belladonna their symptoms have reduced so that's how <clears throat> he just found this particular method in homeopathy that okay in case of uh, epidemic kind of infections we can boost immunity by choosing one particular medicine which is uh, which would suit well in that particular condition and he had named that particular uh, method of prescribing medicine as genus epidemicus so genus epidemicus is finding one particular medicine in case of epidemics to give majority of the population to protect and treat those patients those that particular epidemic and then if we look into the history historical uh, historical looking back how homeopathy has helped in different kind of such infections or epidemics if we see uh, soon after uh, around 50 years later there was another episode of cholera 
in Europe. And there, if you would see the effectiveness, effectiveness of homeopathy was in homeopathy treated prevention given population, only 5 to 16 percent people were affected. But in other groups where homeopathy was not given, 54 to 90 percent people were affected. And just a century ago, exactly a century ago, uh, there was a Spanish flu attack. And as like today, there, the whole world was disrupted. And there too, the reports say that homeopathy, in the homeopathy group, only 1 to 2 percent people were affected. And in other groups, 30 to 60 percent people were affected. And very recently in India, we had chikungunya episode. And uh, there too, homeopathy could be able to reduce the morbidity rate to 17%, but in other places, in other uh, groups, it was 73%, many, many folds. And in 2007 and 8, leptospirosis was uh, affected. Uh, it was a very big problem for Cuba. And the Cuban government had uh, adopted homeopathy. So there too, we can see that uh, a, the reduction of the incidence was 84%. In homeopathy group, 84% didn't get leptospirosis. And on the other hand, it was only it was 22% reduction happened. And in, very recently in India, government of India's uh, Central Council for Research in Homeopathy had published a paper that Japanese encephal encephalitis, that is acute encephalitis syndrome, in that case, by using homeopathy, 15% episodes were reduced. Uh, but for example, in case if in uh, in case of standard therapy, if it was uh, 30%, and in homeopathy group, it is 15%. So 15% has been reduced. And there was also another study published by Government of India. That is in case of dengue. Normally, in case of dengue, uh, platelet count comes down. It drastically lowers down. And they have uh, did a trial by using homeopathic medicine whether platelet count increases or not. And they have taken two groups. One group was with standard therapy, only standard therapy, and another group was with standard therapy plus homeopathic intervention. And in that group, in the day one itself, on first day itself, the platelet count had significantly in, increased more than uh, 12,000 uh, of the count, platelet count. Uh, but in case of uh, standard therapy, it was less than 12,000. So these are some of the evidences we have how homeopathy improves the immunity in cases of infections. And if even if you look into the current episode, and uh, as you all must have uh, seen in various uh, channels that uh, government of india's ministry of Ayush ha had constituted a expert committee which suggested arsenicum album to boost immunity and also government of gujarat has reported drastic reduction in the cases after using homeopathy and italian group of uh, have also studied that there is a zero hospitalization after homeopathy and also, there is a renowned pulmonologist who reported a very positive role uh, by using homeopathy. So, these are some of the uh, examples of the reason uh, which shows that homeopathy would be helpful in improving immunity. And so, what is the mechanism? We, all, we have seen there are results, uh, there are uh, reports saying that homeopathy improves immunity. Uh, all those stuff. So, what is the mechanism behind that? Yes, there is a recent breakthrough uh, uh, that is in 1990s. There were, uh, there were a series of uh, studies published in different journals where the high dilutions, high homeopathic dilutions of pure histamine has been shown to significantly inhibit degranulation of basophils induced in vitro by house dust mite extracts we all know that uh, house dust mite causes uh, causes allergies and if a person who is uh, 
allergic to house dust all you know that even if a person is not allergic to house dust if if we uh, if there is a exposure to the dust then we start getting sometimes running uh, watery eyes all the symptoms right so that we know that house dust might is uh, could be able to stimulate allergic reaction in our so uh, mechanism uh, people with uh, physiology background may also know that uh, there is a uh, enzyme called histamine in our body so that histamine has been induced induced whenever there is a allergic reaction in our body so that's why if you go to any conventional doctor for the treatment of allergy they would give they would give antihistamines like allegra or cetirizine something like that so uh, uh, what the researchers have done that they have taken histamine and they have diluted that and uh, on the other hand they have taken house dust mite extract and with that they have stimulated the reaction and one group is with only house dust mite extract induction and another group is how just might extract with homeopathically diluted histamine so what they found interestingly the group the experiment it was with uh, high dilute found that homeopathic uh homeopathic uh, medicine acts by uh, by inhibiting the degranulation of basophils and if we then further that study was extended not only with histamine also with epismellifica we all know that uh, epismellifica epismellifica is honeybee if you have honeybee bite immediately you start getting a reaction in your body allergic reaction in your body right you start getting uh, swelling in that place redness and also sometimes itching all those stuff right and but the researchers have identified that uh, actually uh, let me give you a little bit background on that uh, there are uh, renowned scientists in immunology uh, dr poitvin dr ben wednesday Dr. Bill White, and uh, what they did, uh, they have done so many such in vitro studies as I have explained here, and they did a series of uh, studies of high dilutions, uh, and they found that the high dilutions modulate basophils, and with that and that histaminum, they have also extended that study with epismellifica, and here you can see how the changes happen if. you uh, if there is a microorganism or if there is a dust for example that triggers the immune system right because of uh, that triggering you can see uh, the triggering activates the basophil and this is just a resting cell a resting cell and here it is activated then you can see the changes in case of uh, these activated cells uh you can see uh the uh, metachromasia has been uh, stimulated there are, there are granules formed and the expression of cd64 is triggered and they also did yes they did with when they did this with the uh, histamine uh, highly diluted lung histamine and epismellifica that activation has been completely blocked so you can see that homeopathic medicine blocks that particular trigger which is triggered by an external stimuli and so that there is no change between the resting cell and the post stimulation cell this is also a resting cell now because it is not stimulated and there is no change completely there is no change and you can see here in this case there is a change and in this case where homeopathic treatment is applied there is no change at all so in this way uh, how uh, we can see we can understand that homeopathic medicines 
at in case of uh, immunity it has immunomodulatory activity and this study is a uh, it is a very basic study which is which has been started but there are uh, many things yet to come we have to deeply understand in the future studies how uh, deeply it acts and there are other studies apart from this histaminum and uh, epismelifica there are so many other studies which show that phytolacca thuja occidentalis vincetoxicum sulfur aconite arsenicum album lacasis all these remedies act very well in case of t and b lymphocytes il1 interleukins 1 beta tnf alpha and all these immunomodulatory cells these explain how homeopathy has a positive immunological mechanism uh, on these conditions right now uh, there were also yes clinical studies with reports on the scientific parameters on how these medicines positively work as i have explained in the beginning and that they, these observations which are scientifically explained today have been observed by homeopaths for many many decades even for centuries and now these clinical observations have been systematically recorded and studied so that we can deeply understand how homeopathic medicines help improving the immunity and uh, if you want more details you can just google you can google with the terms immunology and homeopathy there is a series of lectures uh, as an article available in different website uh, pubmed and other websites uh, the, the, that series is uh, with number serial number one they have started with in vitro studies and other basic studies and also with clinical studies and it would be very interesting to anyone who is working on this field and here i would like to give some of the homeopathic medicines which would help for boosting immunity and this is the uh, star medicine star homeopathic medicine as on today because uh, of the government's recommendation many homeopathic doctors and also homeopathic shops and also homeopathic patients regular users of homeopathy keep on uh, asking or uh, disseminating information about this particular medicine uh, because it is specifically suggested by government of foyush to improve uh, to boost the immunity and uh, there is a profound weakness these are some of the symptoms or indications of these uh, remedies which i am going to tell you uh, that uh, in case of arsenicum album uh, there is a weakness restlessness during fever and cold coriza and there would be an acrid nasal discharge with burning sensation in the nostrils these are very uh, common symptoms and also sometimes the patients would get dry cough which would be better by warm drink if you have a, some warm water then your dry cough would be subsided so if you have that kind of symptom then this arsenicum album can be used also this is used as a immune booster uh, without uh, uh, even uh, someone doesn't have any symptom this medicine can be used as a immune booster and this is another popular homeopathic medicine which is used as an immune booster this is also scientifically studied extensively and this drug increases the resistance for, uh, function uh, of the body versus invasion of pathogens that means microorganisms virus and bacteria and it is called antibacterial drug of homeopathy in general uh, it has the advantage of acting by increasing the immunity and this medicine not only is used as an internal medicine this is also used as an external medicine many homeopathic doctors use this medicine this mother tincture for dressing the wounds so that the it acts as an antiseptic as well it is also a very good blood purifier and alfalfa many people would know about that it is a, a general tonic which helps to improve our general well-being and also the immunity it contains many vitamins and uh, many micro minerals which are essential for our body 
and uh, it would stimulate to acquire more such minerals and essential nutrients into our body and it also helps to stimulate the appetite we, you can see that in many uh, cases of uh, uh, post fever after fever patients used to have some convalescence they will not have appetite properly they will have weakness so in such cases by giving this alfalfa mother tincture it would be helpful to improve the immunity and there is another medicine called vidanya somnifera this vidanya somnifera is also called ashwagandha in indian system of medicine and uh, it is a great mental tonic as well as it helps to maintain our state of well being and it is uh, it is a kind of uh, a stimulator in terms of overall well being uh, uh, health and tuja accidentalis is another frequently used homeopathic medicine and it is when the infection is with the discharge of pus it is most frequently used it has antibacterial activity as well as antiviral activity which is not mentioned here and it helps to overcome the side effects of vaccination we see in the clinical practice that many patients many children after uh, getting vaccination they get one other other problem they keep on getting cough cold or some other problem so in such cases it would neutralize that problem and ginseng is another uh, vitality remedy it has adaptogenic tonic in if a person is much affected with mental stress tension and because of that his immunity is going down it is weak then ginseng is the very right medicine to uh, to have him adaptogenic uh, activity because adapt adaptogenic means uh, it will help uh, the individual to adapt to the stress before giving a ginseng people used to stressed out very easily but after having ginseng the stress level will be reduced and they will be having the capability of managing that stress even more stress would be there okay no matter they will keep on doing the work without much impact and uh, it also helps to reduce the fatigue cold and uh, mental and emotional problems and it is also an immunostimulant uh, for improving the resistance to the infection and this is all ab about uh, i think i have completed uh, my lecture on time so thank you so much and in case of any queries we can have thank you thank you so much to dr r halavan for delivering such lectures and to make us aware about how homeopathy works and what is homeopathy actually is so right now i would uh, like to ask uh, mr uhijit bhumik the journal head of this company to say something about the products of swab so mr ubijit are you there mr baumik hello i think uh, he may yes. have some i think some connectivity problem uh, his video has disappeared so is mr shashank there yes yes i am here yeah hello so please uh, communicate with mr ubijit yes i am there Or... i am there you know please turn on your video and yes yes i think uh, so please uh, I, 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 yes thank you as we have decided uh, uh, dr valavan sir address a few questions because time is a constraint as you know so he'll be uh, our dr valavan sir will be addressing a few questions only and people who have got further queries we've got a feedback form which dr urgit is going to give us there you can uh, write your further queries which will be appropriately answered by our uh, marketing and our dr balavan sir in future course of time and uh, i think uh, 
Dr. Valavan, sir, you know the questions that you are uh, being you are doing in the chat box. If you can select a few questions from there and uh, okay. answer them, I would request the participants to pose their questions. You know, very specific questions so that Dr. Valavan, sir, can answer them. Whoever has got questions, kindly put your questions. I hope all can hear me. Yes. Right. right. So actually, there are a few questions there in the chat box. OK, all right. Yeah, uh, there is one question from uh, Mr. Rakesh Kumar Patra. Uh, from the personal experience, why many homeopathy doctors recommend not to consume onion, tamarind, etc. Right, it's a very uh, valid and uh, very right question. And uh, why most of the homeopathy doctors have uh, uh, have been suggesting to avoid onion? in fact the garlic and other uh, strong smelling or strong effective food items because these substances may impact or may neutralize the effect of homeopathic medicines so that is why they are being uh, asked to uh, avoid uh, but uh, some time ago uh, there was a uh, there was a uh, notification from ccr at central council for research in homeopathy who stated that uh, we don't need to avoid completely all the uh, such kind of uh, strong smelling substances. Only the substances which are mentioned in the Mitria Medica to be avoided. Only those substances to be avoided. Uh, so homeopathic doctors know that uh, which medicine uh, would antidote uh, would be antidoted by which substance. So if they are asking you to avoid such kind of things, then please uh, avoid that. So uh, that is a that is my answer and i think that is the only question uh, we have uh, there yes there is another question now just right away uh, will immuno boosters like arsenic album 30 be effective in severe stages of covid 19 where immune responses like cytokine storm are turning out to be a major problem or are there any other immunomodulator remedies for situation? Uh, let me request you that the immuno boosting medicines which were suggested by Ministry of Oyush were only for the prevention. In case of any disease, the individual has to be treated by a trained doctor, uh, conventional and genetic doctors. So they only assess the patient's symptoms and the condition, and they would prescribe the medicine, right? And that the medicines would vary in such a condition, person to person. One medicine may have, uh, may need uh, arsenicum, another may be needing phosphorus, third one may be needing standard metallicum. So it is completely depending upon the case. If the case, the patient is so please remember that arsenic album has to be taken only as immune booster but not as a not as a treatment not uh, that to no self medication no self medication in case if anyone is affected by any disease and there is one more question that which medicine should be best for chronic psoriasis again uh, i would say the same answer that uh, homeopathy deals diseases on individuality basis if there are four patients with psoriasis homeopathic doctor same homeopathic doctor would prescribe for person one medicine a person two medicine b person three medicine c person four medicine d so each and every person every patient would get different different medicine based on his symptoms individuality because uh, if even if you take two different cases of psoriasis, one patient may be having psoriasis in the hand, another one may, may be having psoriasis in the leg, and one may be having in general in, in bad area, 
another one may be having only in the joints so depending upon the symptom depending upon the picture clinical picture medicine would vary so there is no single medicine for psoriasis there has to be that has to be the condition has to be analyzed by homeopathic doctor and based on that it has to be prescribed and there is a, another query uh, that homeopathic medicine works on which principle cell mediated or humoral immune system activation or anything i would say the best answer is holistic holistically what i have shown you the histamine and epis mellifica example is just a part of that holistic action of homeopathic medicine it is uh, homeopathic medicine would act would have impact in different systems in different parts of the body and in, in different systems uh, but what i have shown you only one uh, but homeopathy acts in general as a whole in all the system so you cannot say that uh, it is acting through this uh, through cell mediation or uh, humoral immune system we cannot say that so uh, it would be uh, it would be i think uh, time we i think uh, there are many studies yet to come in homeopathy and uh, we have to see on which what are all the symptom systems homeopathy works better there is another question uh, saying that uh, uh, sir what is your opinion about about arsenicum malbum which lot of people saying increased immunity i have already answered to this question i think uh, uh, i think we uh, better we uh, you uh, i would like to avoid this to avoid wasting time and are there any known contradictions for homeopathy medicines which you have suggested for stress and depression uh, each and every medicine has its own uh, contradiction contra indication uh, if uh, for example uh, there are two medicines uh, in homeopathy uh, sometimes they would be contra indicated for example if one medicine acts to improve uh, or increase the blood pressure another one acts to reduce the blood pressure then both should not be obviously not to be taken together so that is contraindication and in case of uh, stress and depression also yes depending upon the case there could be some contraindication which we have to avoid i think as of now uh, uh, there are only this much queries and uh, mr baumik uh, can you uh, move ahead i think uh, uh, Dr. Arijit had requested you to talk something about Shwabe products. I see, I see. I was uh, muted at that time, probably. So right. I think queries have been uh, appropriately answered by Dr. Valawan, and I'm very happy that we've been able to uh, conduct this very smoothly. And it has been a, quite an informative, as I hear from the chat also. I can see from the chat boxes that it has been quite informative, and uh, this kind of uh, approach this kind of knowledge sharing was much needed i would say as dr ojit kormakar when he first talked to me he said that let's do something about let's try to understand the science behind it so it was a good opportunity for us today and uh, speaking about the company as uh, many will know that dr wilma shob is uh, the only multinational company that is flying in india and uh, over the years Dr. Wilma Shawe, by its acquisitions and joint ventures and the founding of new companies, have made Shawe Group a conglomerate with subsidiaries and associated companies at home and abroad. And uh, measured by the national turnover, Shawe Group today is one of the largest medicine producers in Germany, and its international reach spans about five continents. And the international share is about 27 75 percent of the total share the more important thing is that as we can feel uh, working in this organization that wilmer shobe is obsessed with one thing that is quality it will benefit the mass and uh, i can definitely say on behalf of uh, the organization and the eastern parts of the country in the zonal map of this, country, of this uh, company that we will continuously strive hard relentlessly that the quality is 
ever maintained so that it benefits the entire mass and uh, i would now request dr orijit kormokar to say your closing remarks since we have nearly come to the end of the program and then i would also request principal of the college to also say his closing remarks and then we would call it a day dr orijit please thank you actually we are restricted with time and we have 5 minutes left because after that the uh, software will stop to recording the program i think so okay so uh, our principal sir is busy with some other another another works okay so she has she ha he has left so i am thankful to all of you the dr r balavan sir for accepting my invitation and for delivering his lecture on homeopathy and i am thankful to uh, mr obhijit bhoumik journal head of swab india private limited for organizing this program especially accepting my invitation thank you so much uh, and also thankful to mr swashank for being with us so thank you and i am so i am also thankful to our uh, departmental members faculty members and also uh, mr orindom pal from computer science department Uh, of my college who also send the links for whatsapp and others link and also will send the uh, link for feedback to the participants so i think uh, that uh, i have received so many uh, uh, responses near about near about more than 150 and uh, here i seen that only 80 or 90 participants are there so i think we need to organize a large scale program on a large platform also so we will organize such program again to spread the awareness among population okay thank, thank you, you very much thank you very much so you can uh, because only th uh, two minutes left So we can uh, do the closer session. Okay. So I can only say that you know this was a maiden venture by all of us. Team effort. Yeah. Needed, I would say. I get messages that it is a very informative program, and it will be my penchant as a member of this company to, in my next uh, our endeavor, to also bring in our uh, leader, Mr. Ashish Kumar, who has been the driving force behind the building of this organization. and all the acquisitions here that has taken place and i will look forward to his presence also maybe in some time in the future and i thank everybody here for all the participants for being so good and uh, we would look forward once again for such other when uh, another endeavor thank you so much thank you everybody thank you thank you thank you very much for being with us